The Anatomy of the Landfill by Devin Christopher Dionda, third period. Here we have our landfill. First and foremost, we have cover vegetation. As portions of our landfill are completed and filled, native grasses and shrubs are planted. The vegetation is not only visually pleasing, but also prevents erosion of the underlying soils. Below that, we have topsoil, which helps to support and maintain the growth of the upper vegetation. Just underneath that, we then have our protective cover soil, which provides additional moisture retention to help support the cover vegetation. Our next layer is a drainage layer and geomembrane system. A layer of sand or gravel or a thick plastic mesh called geonet drains excess water from the protective cover soil in order to enhance its stability and help prevent infiltration of water through the landfill cap system. The geomembrane is a thick plastic layer that forms a cap to prevent excess precipitation from entering the landfill that would then form leachate. We also have a layer of compacted clay that is placed over the waste to form a cap when the landfill reaches its permitted height. This layer prevents excess precipitation from entering the landfill which would then form more leachate. Beneath the compacted clay is our daily cover. At the end of each working period, waste is covered with 6 to 12 inches of soil or other approved material in order to cap off the layer of waste. As waste arrives, it is compacted in layers within a small area to reduce the volume consumed within the landfill. This not only increases the efficiency of the landfill, but also helps to remain environmentally conscientious. Moving on, we have our leachate collection layer. This is a layer of sand or gravel, or a thick plastic mesh, again called geonet, which collects leachate and allows it to drain via gravity to the leachate collection pipe system. Beneath this, we have our filtered geotextile, which works to provide separation of solid particles from liquid. This dramatically helps to prevent clogging of the leachate collection layer, which is a pipe system. The leachate collection pipe system is a series of perforated pipes, which transport collected leachate to specifically designed low points called sumps. Underneath this, we have a geomembrane, which again is a thick plastic layer that forms a liner to prevent leachate from leaving the landfill and entering the environment. As another barrier to prevent leachate from entering the environment, we have a layer of compacted clay, which is located directly below the geomembrane, which forms an additional barrier to again, make sure that there is no leakage occurring within our landfill. Our last and final layer is our prepared subgrade. This is the native soil beneath the landfill, which is prepared as needed prior to beginning the landfill construction. What you see here is me sectioning off layers of the landfill into separate categories. Category A is our protective cover. Category B is our composite cap system. C is our working landfill. D is our leachate collection system. And finally, E is our composite liner system. And there you have it, the inner workings of the landfill. Thanks for watching.